Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. I would like to begin this session with a big thank you to each one of you who have trusted and subscribed to my channel. It has helped me reach my first little milestone of 500 subscribers. With your continued support, I am sure to hit my next milestone of 1000 subscribers. Let us go into the details of this video now. In this video, we are going to learn addition and subtraction combination in class 4. We know that addition and subtraction are mathematical operations on numbers. How will you solve this? 8853 minus 407 plus 5698. The rule when you have both addition and subtraction in a sum is first add the first number to the number with the positive sign before it. Next, from the sum, subtract the number with the negative sign before it. Let us do this and see. So here, the first number is 8853. Write down the place values of this number, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. To this, we have to add the number with a plus sign before it. Which is the number with a plus sign before it? 5698. So let us add these two from the ones place. 3 plus 8 in the ones place will give you 11. Retain 1 in the ones place and 1 as a carryover to the tens place. Now in tens place 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. So 5 in the tens place and 1 as a carryover to the digits in the hundreds place. Now add the digits in hundreds place. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So 5 in the hundreds place and 1 as a carryover to the digits in the thousands place. 1 plus 8 in thousands place is 9 and 9 plus 5 is 14. So retain the 4 in the thousands place and take the 1 to the next place value 10 thousands. So what is the answer when you add 8853 plus 5698 you will get 14,551. What is the next step as per the rule? From this sum, we are going to subtract the number with a negative sign before it. Which is the number with a negative sign before it? 407. So write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place, we have 1 minus 7. We know that 7 is greater than 1. So move to the tens place and borrow or regroup the tens place. So five tens will become four tens plus one ten or ten ones. So when you give ten ones to the ones place, you will get ten ones plus one, which will be eleven ones in the ones place. And so we can subtract eleven minus seven in the ones place, which will give you four. Next move on to the tens place, where four minus zero is four. Next, in hundreds place, 5 minus 4 is 1. In thousands place and in ten thousands place, you can just take and write down the number 4 and 1 as it is. So, when you subtract 14,551 minus 407, you will get the answer to be 14,144. Hope you have understood how we are combining addition and subtraction. We will be doing more sums to understand this better. So stay with me till the end of this video. Let us do the next sum. Here we are going to involve 5 digit numbers as we are in class 4 now. Solve 24387 minus 22132 plus 10987. So first write down the first number and its place values. Next write the number or add this with a number which is having a plus sign before it. So here it is 10,987. When you add these two 5 digit numbers, let us see what is the answer or the sum that we are going to get. Begin the addition from the ones place. 7 plus 7 is 14. 4 in the ones place and 1 as a carryover to the tens place. In tens place 1 plus 8 is 9 and 9 plus 8 is 17. 
7 in the tens place and 1 as a carry over to the digits in the hundreds place. Now add in hundreds place, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 9 is 13. So 3 in the hundreds place, 1 as a carry over to the thousands place. Now add the digits in thousands place, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 0 is 5. In ten thousands place, 2 plus 1 is 3. So what is the sum? You get 35,374. From this sum, the next step what we are going to do is write down the place values and subtract the number which is having a negative sign before it or the minus sign before it. So here it is minus 22,132. So we are going to subtract these two five digit numbers now. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 4 minus 2 in ones place is 2. In tens place 7 minus 3 is 4. Hundreds place 3 minus 1 is 2. In thousands place 5 minus 2 is 3. And in ten thousands place 3 minus 2 is 1. So what is the answer when you subtract? You will get 13,242. So the answer for the sum solved 24,387 minus 22,132 plus 10,987 will give you the answer 13,242. Let us do another sum which involves zeros. When the number involves zeros, the borrowing concept becomes very interesting. So let us see how to do this sum now. 50,000 minus 12,345 plus 30,000. So write down the first number 50,000. Write its place value and add it with the number which is having a plus sign before it. In this case it is plus 30,000. So begin the addition from the ones place. 0 plus 0 is 0. In tens place it is 0 plus 0 is 0. In hundreds place 0 plus 0 is 0. In thousands place 0 plus 0 is 0. And in ten thousands place 5 plus 3 is 8. So you get the answer to be or the sum to be 80,000. From this 80,000 we are going to subtract 12,345. So here we see zeros are there in the bigger number. So let us start subtracting from 8 which is there in the 10 thousands place because till the thousands place we have only zeros. So go to the 10 thousands place and regroup 8 10 thousands as 7 10 thousand plus 1 10 thousand or 10 thousands. So thousands place will have a 10 now. We have to regroup 10 thousands again. What is 10 thousands when it regrouped? It becomes 9 thousands plus 10 hundreds. So again we'll have to regroup this 10 hundreds which will be 9 hundreds and 10 tens. We'll have to regroup this 10 tens again which will be 9 tens and 10 ones. So in ones place now we can subtract 10 minus 5 which will give you 5. In tens place 9 minus 4 is 5. Next, coming to the hundreds place, 9 minus 3 is 6. Next, in the thousands place, 9 minus 2 is 7. In ten thousands place, 7 minus 1 is 6. So, what is the difference that you are getting? 67,655. So, the answer for this solved sum is 67,655. Let us do another sum which is involving 4 digit numbers. And let us see the answer that we are going to get. Solve 9503 minus 1452 plus 2506. So first write down the first number. Write down its place value and add it with the number which is having a plus sign before it. In this case it is 2506. Begin the addition from the ones place. 3 plus 6 is 9. In tens place 0 plus 0 is 0. In hundreds place 5 plus 5 is 10. 0 and 1 carry over to the thousands place. 1 plus 9 in the thousands place is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. So 2 in the thousands place and 1 in the ten thousands place. So the sum of the two four digit numbers is giving you the answer 12,009. From this sum we are now going to subtract the smaller number 1,452. So write down the place value so that it will be easy for the children to write the smaller number in the correct places. 
So now we are going to subtract 12,009 minus 1,452. Begin the subtraction from the 1's place. 9 minus 2 is 7. In 10's and 100's place we have 0. So borrow from the 1,000's place. Regroup 2,000's. So 1,000 and 10 hundreds. Regroup 10 hundreds once again. It becomes 9 hundreds plus 10 tens. So now in tens place 10 minus 5 is 5. In hundreds place 9 minus 4 is 5. And in thousands place 1 minus 1 is 0. And in 10 thousands place you can just take and write down the number 1. So the answer is 10,557. Let us do the next sum. Solve 5,672. Minus 3418 plus 8256. So as per the rule, write down the first number, its place values and add it with the number which is having a plus sign before it. Begin the addition from the 1's place. 2 plus 6 is 8. 7 plus 5 is 12. So 2 in the 10's place, 1 is a carryover. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. And in 1000's place, 5 plus 8 will give you... 13. So 3 in the thousands place and 1 in the ten thousands place. So the sum of the two four digit numbers is 13,928. What is the next step? From this sum 13,928, we are going to subtract the number with a negative sign before it or the minus sign before it. What is that number here? 3,418. So begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 8 is 0. In tens place 2 minus 1 is 1. In hundreds place 9 minus 4 is 5. In thousands place 3 minus 3 is 0. And in ten thousands place it is 1 which you want to take it and write it down directly. So what is the answer for the solved sum? 10,510. Dear viewers, remember this number 10,510. I am going to teach you another way by which the same sum can be solved. Here we took the first number, added it with the number 8,256. From that sum we subtracted 3,418. But there is another way by which you can combine addition and subtraction. What we can do is first do the subtraction 5,672 minus 3,418. And then add this answer to 8,256. Let us see if you are going to get the same answer. First, write down 5672, write its place value. Now, subtract 3418 from 5672. Begin the subtraction from the 1's place. 2 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 2. So, move to 10's place and borrow from 10's place. 7 can be regrouped as 6 10's plus 10 1's. So, when the 10 1's comes to 1's place, you have 10 plus 2 12 ones. 12 minus 8 in the ones place will give you 4. Next in tens place 6 minus 1 will give you 5. In hundreds place 6 minus 4 will give you 2. And in thousands place 5 minus 3 will give you 2. So the difference that you are going to get is 2254. To this answer now add 8256. Begin the addition from the ones place. 6 plus 4 is 10, 0 carry over 1 to the 10's place. So add the digits in 10's place, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 in 10's place, 1 as a carry over to 100's place. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. And in 1000's place, 8 plus 2 is 10. So 0 in 1000's place and 1 in the 10,000's place. So you're getting the same answer as before, 10,510. So dear viewers, when you combine addition and subtraction, you can either add the first number with the number with the positive sign after it. And from that answer, you can subtract the number which is having a negative sign before it. Or you can do as such, subtract the first two numbers and add the answer to the third number. You will get the same answer. These are all the learning outcome in class 4 of the topic subtraction for the children, of which I have covered the first three topics in three different videos. The upcoming videos, I will be covering these topics, addition and subtraction of money, story sums, mental math and worksheet in separate videos. Links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button 
for regular notifications. See you again.